Thanks for tuning into The Trailblazers, the series that discovers millennials whose technology-driven ventures have huge potential for social impact. Now, it might be easy to dismiss music, travel, or even fashion businesses as less serious than, say, health or education, but Shivy and I feel that that would be massively misguided. Many creators out there are channeling the mainstream popular nature of lifestyle products to create meaningful value. Now, this time, we found Romana Abubekar, the founder of Oat Ilan. They're an e-commerce brand who wants to be seen as a curator of luxury modest fashion, but aimed not at only women of Jewish, Muslim, or Christian faith, but also those of non-faith who just want to dress modestly. Romana wants to use this platform to unite these women, bringing in designers, bloggers and influencers from all these markets, creating dialogue and breaking down national and faith barriers. Exactly. They're also investing in female-led startups through interest-free loans granted by their Women's Venture Fund, which receives one pound of every purchase. So will Ot Ilan use the glam value of fashion to create a movement? Let's find out. Romana, look, thank you so much for being on The Trailblazers. Thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> well, you're our first fashion for good startup, so that's exciting. Now look, often the creators that I speak to frequently say to me that their ventures have come from a personal need. So what sparked off the idea for Kotilan, the e-commerce platform that you founded? And also tell me a little bit more about what it's all about. Yes, absolutely. So it certainly came from a personal need. As somebody who likes to dress modestly, um, and when I say modestly, I mean, you know, items that are perhaps slightly longer sleeve, slightly higher in length, not necessarily the obvious Muslim attire, something that's very open to any woman who wishes to dress modestly. Uh, there really wasn't anything available in the market at the time, about three years ago when I was thinking of the concept. So we started to source and curate designers from around the world and bring them to one platform, which became Autelet. So, Romana, many folks wouldn't necessarily expect a luxury e-commerce platform or luxury modest fashion to have a social good angle there because fashion is looked at as more like a fun lifestyle thing. However, I know that Hotilan is doing a lot to bridge fates and obviously you have a women's venture fund as well. Tell us more about that social impact. Absolutely. So um, as somebody who, you know, my background is actually law and I've done a lot of sort of Islamic financing, structuring and supporting the community. So uh, fashion sometimes can come across as a very kind of meaningless, baseless thing. But actually, that's where I really wanted to use fashion. As women, most of us are fashion as a kind of commonality, I would say. So we're using this commonality amongst us to, to be a tool to facilitate better betterment for all of us. And we do that through two ways. One is that one pound of every purchase that anyone makes will go towards a women's venture fund which we've established. And that fund will donate um, interest-free money to women in business around the world. And the second way that we really support is, is actually helping the women who are the emerging startups come to the platform and, and really help them build and grow their businesses. Our, our aim is to bring those women from the Jewish community, the Muslim community, the Christian, the non-faith, and create dialogue together as women. So I love that Otilan isn't just for those of certain religious faiths. It's actually bringing together folks from many different backgrounds. And indeed, women, as you said, are huge influencers. Yes, I will agree to that. Um, so talk to us a little bit about the technical side, right? So what does it actually take to build an e-commerce store? Because I know a lot of us are really puzzled by this. You know, do you need inventory? How does it work? Do you have to have X amount of designers on board? It's actually quite a complicated world, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny. I think on the outside, people always say to me, oh, why are you so busy? Why do you have so many people on the desk? And I always say, oh God, I wish you could see how painful this is. You know, the early days are the most painful because at the moment we're so busy with, we have to speak to new brands, approaching new brands, attending all the key events that are happening in the industry, making sure we're identifying the latest brands, seeing what the latest collections are, but then it's also the back end, so it's uploading those collections. We're a marketplace, so in some ways that's slightly easier. We don't have stock, so we don't have the whole the distribution model or having to, to worry about a big warehouse. But we still have the other elements, which are graphic design, making sure that each collection is marketed properly, um, ensuring that the designers are happy, that they're being represented appropriately. So there is a huge amount of back end work that happens at an e commerce platform. So, Romana, some great insight there. Thank you for that. And I want to switch tracks and do what is a lot of people's favorite part of the interview, which is the personal stuff, unraveling what makes you tick and working out what Romana is like as a person. So let me ask you, what is Romana's 
happy place in terms of maybe a blissful destination where it's just you and maybe your favorite people, where would that be? My dream would just be somewhere in a hideaway, a log cabin on the top of a mountain, somewhere quite nice and cold so you can have a cozy fireplace, snuggle up to my little baby and a chef just to cook. <laughs> just food on tap all food the time and your little daughter to keep you company. Absolutely. Great, I'm joining you. So Ramana, another question that I love to ask people is what gets you know, a very interesting reaction. It's what makes you angry? What riles you up? And let's talk specifically about maybe one or two traits in people that you just find very, very hard to deal with. So I'll use the term diva <laughs> because in my time at Hotel Anne, which is naturally a fashion platform obviously, we've experienced a lot of these fashion divas. When you have somebody like that who's really demanding, wants a first class ticket, return, picked up with flowers, chocolates and the whole whammy, you're like, hmm, I don't think we're really in a position to offer that right now. And, and that becomes really difficult, really annoying, frankly. So in general, sort of misguided arrogance absolutely is actually quite emotionally exhausting to deal with isn't it absolutely yes exactly so we don't want that on the trailblazers yeah okay can anyone out that does that so look it's clear to me and hopefully for anyone watching that oats ilan is going to evolve into a movement and go beyond being an e-commerce platform and it's already doing that and i look forward to keeping an eye on your women's venture fund Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. No problem at all. Well, I'm not going to let you go just yet. I believe you're going to do a little bit of a fun segment with me. And I won't reveal what that's about, but if people keep watching, they'll find out in a minute. Thank you for being on the Trailblazers. So, Romana, let's have some fun. Now, you gave me this ring earlier, which is gorgeous. Thank you. Pleasure. Well, it matches you better than it does me today. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites from our collection. Oh, thank you. Well, coincidentally, it does go with my top. But look, I hear you've hooked me up with a couple of really cool jackets. And I love jackets and blazers. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay, well, let's take a look. Right. I love makeovers. Oh, this is so cozy. I absolutely love it. It's on swishy as well. That's well, actually one of my favorites. So this is the perfect example of the mainstream going modest. This is from Zara's latest collection. Lovely. Let's go for the next one. Ooh, so I can't stop touching this one. So soft, it's silk, isn't it? It's pure silk, exactly. Ooh. It's another favorite and new yeah. collection. Yeah, it's quite kimono esque as well. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, Contemporary, ah. easy to yes. wear. Very fashionista. I feel very glamorous. I'm off now. <laughs> this makes me feel very regal, actually. It's actually, again, a very good uh, style for what you're currently wearing. Uh, our own house, in house brand, Aya Ellis, ah. and all silk lined. So again, yeah, really favorite piece, okay. top, top piece as well. Great, so these two pieces are all mine now. <laughs> Thank you. Romana is a shining example of a young woman using the power of a mainstream area like fashion to make it a force for good. Even I'm convinced. And given I'm not much of a fashionista, that's <laughs> nice. I'll second that. Thanks for watching, folks. It's just hilarious. Stop doing it, you're gonna make me crack up. <laughs> you don't know what song that is. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>